We've been renovating our fifth wheel bit by bit. This video is all about the construction of our dining booth and storage. So materials wise, we decided to use two by twos for our frame and this helped keep weight and cost down. Our upper cross members are one by twos. We'll be installing plywood on the top of our frames. So these top edges are raised so that the plywood can be recessed down and all the edges get covered. We were able to recycle underlayment from demolition of previous projects to create a shaker style appearance to match the paneling we did in our kitchen.
Now we're going to assemble our three parts to the bench seating so that installation is easier. Jeff created a jig for our drawer rails. Working in such a small space, it was helpful to mark and punch a small pilot hole for the screws as a guide. Right, and our plywood drops in nicely. For our drawers, we chose to use half inch plywood glued and screwed together. And then the bottom of the drawer will be an eighth inch underlayment that we also glued and screwed. After each drawer is built, Jeff runs over the edges with an eighth inch roundover bit on his router. We secured our MDF drawer faces using CA glue and instant spray activator. The hardware is some that we salvaged from the kids' old bunk room wardrobes. As with any build, measurements were so integral to this design. Spacing for the railings and drawer clearance left no room for mistakes. It was especially important and necessary for the center drawers to clear our dining table telescoping 
mount. So big kudos to Jeff. I can't take any credit. If you look at the video description, there is a link to the entire renovation of the dining area. Or just head over to our channel and check out all our other cool videos and projects. We seriously appreciate you guys so much for being here, watching our videos, sharing our content, and supporting us on this crazy journey. We love interacting with you, so go ahead and drop a comment below and tell us what you'd like to see next.